agronomy jigsaw project. The purpose of this YouTube is to talk about gypsum, how it's being used on the south coast of WA. Gypsum also has a, a number of other uses. Gypsum, because it's high in calcium and also sulphur, it's about 20% calcium and also sulphur, is an ideal fertiliser where we have calcium or um, sulphur deficient soils. Just a, an application rate of about 2.5 tonnes per hectare of um, gypsum will result in 350 kilos of sulphur and 450 kilograms of calcium being washed into the soil. Gypsum is also far more soluble than lime. It's about 160 times more soluble than lime. So after applying the gypsum, usually within the first year, most of the gypsum has dissociated into its ionic forms of calcium and also sulphate. The other benefit of gypsum as a fertiliser is that it has a, a neutral reaction. In other words, it tends not to alter the soil pH. And as such, it's about the only source of sulphur which does not acidify soils. Finally, in the literature, there is some evidence to suggest that gypsum may be useful in overcoming aluminium toxicity in acidic soils. The theory behind this is that the sulphate ions in gypsum bind with aluminium ions to form an aluminium sulphate which tends to have fairly low activity, much lower than aluminium ions by themselves. This just means that the aluminium is bound up and tends not to be as toxic to plants as other forms of aluminium which we tend to find in, the, in our subsoils. Because gypsum is also fairly soluble, there is a chance that the gypsum can get down deeper into the profile than lime does and also attach itself to these aluminium ions which are potentially toxic. The work where this has been done is mainly in acidic tropical soils and so it has not been demonstrated yet on our south coast sand plain soils. However, there is a certain amount of theory to suggest that a combination of lime and also gypsum may be beneficial in rectifying surface and to some extent subsurface acidity issues. Again, we need trial data to confirm this. Music